here we go. We're going to start with a standing joint by joint mobility series and we're going to start with standing spinal waves. To set up, we're going to have our pinky toes facing forward. So our big toes are going to have a slight toe in. We're going to have a slight bend in the knee. And what we're going to do is try to flex our spine as much as we can as we bring our hands down to the ground. So take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, slowly tuck your chin, round your shoulders forward, round your upper back, nice and slowly try to round out your low back, bend your knees as much as you need to keep the hips under the shoulders, and get the hands all the way down to the ground. Take a pause here on the bottom, and as you come on up, we're going to push the hips and knees forward. And we're going to try to stay as round as we can with our spine. As we say, striking out the lower first, the middle, the upper, and then back. Nice proud chest. Take a nice big inhale, and then back down for rep number two. So, as we go into the low back, think about pulling your belly button up into the low back. Keeping your feet in the same position, again, and the knees too. Keep it nice and soft. We're going to go arms up to the side. We'll start by turning the left hand down. This left hand is going to go across the bottom, and the right is going to go over the top. Get a nice big inhale in the middle position here. Nice big exhale as we reach into our end range. The goal is to try to reach and get those elbows straight on both arms. We can let the hips kick out to the side a little bit. And again, we get anywhere from three to five on each side. And then from there, again, keeping the feet in the same position, we're going to get some standing rotation. So no tension in the arms. We're going to rotate onto the balls of the feet as we go side to side. And think about staying as tall as you can as you rotate. Try not to lean from side to side. And again, we'll get about three to five reps, and then we'll keep the feet still, and then just use the hips and the upper body. And again, we'll get three to five. And now we'll lock the hips in place. Really squeezing your cheeks. And then again, just as you provided for this rotation, three to five reps. Good. Now, shake that out. We're going to get into the next specifically. So, we're going to start with flexion and extension. So, getting nice and tall, we're going to think about just moving the chin here. Pull the chin straight down, pull the chin straight up.
lateral rotation. So we're going to look left to right. Again, take a nice big inhale, exhale, rotate. circles in the neck. So we'll go chin down to the chest. Keep the shoulders down as we go. We're going to start by going to the right. Chin to the shoulder. Ear back, chin up. Opposite ear back, chin down. Gunslingers. So, from the side, you can see what we're going to be doing here. Keep the hips fairly uh, stable and squeezed here, okay? To really focus the work in the upper back. Take a nice big inhale here. On the exhale, you're going to reach your shoulder blades around your ribs, pulling your ribs back to the wall behind you. Inhale back. Exhale, reach. Inhale back. Exhale, reach. Inhale, back. Exhale, reach. Two more. Good. Now, one more for the upper back here, the upper body here for the spine. We're going to go arms out to the sides. We're going to pull the shoulders down and back. Again, really make sure that our hips are very stable. A lot of tension in, the, in your glutes here, because we're going to reach our fists from side to side. Super small movements, because you don't want the hips to shift away from the torso. We want to keep the shoulders and the hands parallel with the ground. And then we'll get about five reaches. Shoulders. We're going to go left hand out front, right hand out back. We can allow the hips to rotate as much as we need. We're going to get nice big circles going forward. Try to reach both hands to make as big of a circle as you can. And again, we'll get hand reps, five on each arm, and then we'll pause and then we're going to go back. As we go back, think about squeeze in your belly to keep your ribs pulled down. We don't want to flare up and break that stability in the front. Five on each. Good. Now, we're going to extend the arms to the side. We're going to pull the right shoulder blade up and then we're going to rotate the shoulder blade forward. We're going to be reaching both hands in both directions and then pull the shoulder blade back and down. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale as we screw and reach. Back to center. And here we can let the knees go soft if we'd like. We can let the hips move to get as much motion as we can in our shoulder blades. But now, down to the elbows. We're going to have our arms up like so. Again, pull the shoulder blades back and down. We're going to pull the elbows forward. We're going to point the thumbs in, and then we're going to rotate the thumbs to point back. Now, we want to, again, keep the belly down, so ribs down, so squeeze your belly. Take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, push your hands back. Keep the elbows forward so you come to full extension of the elbows. Rotate the thumbs forward. Pull the hands back in over the shoulders. And we'll be going in a circular direction here. Try to get as big of a circle with your hands around your elbows. We got one more. Good. Shake that out. Last one into the rib. 
wrists here. So we'll bend both elbows. We're going to put that into the sides. Now, keep a straight line from your palm to your fingers best you can, and try to keep your palm and your forearm facing the ceiling. All right? Challenge yourself with that. We're going to pull the fingers and hands in towards each other. We're going to pull them down to the ground as much as we can. And then we're going to pull up and out as best we can and make as nice of a circle with our wrists as we can. We'll get five in this direction here. And we'll pause here and then we'll reverse. Exhale through the efforts. Last one. Good. Check that out. Now we'll move our way down into the hips. And again, I'll go to the side here for this one. A, a very subtle movement in the hips. We want soft knees. We're going to be working on pelvic rotation. All right? So we're going to squeeze our hips, tuck them as they say, squeeze, tuck them under. And then we're going to use the low back a little bit, and we're just going to extend. We're going to pull the hips back. So we're going to tuck, squeeze them forward, extend. We're going to pull them back. Good. Again, we'll get 10 here. We'll get three more. Last one. Good. And now. We're going to get some lateral pelvic tilts. Okay, this one might be a little funky for some of us. So again, soft knees. We want to keep the feet flat, particularly the heels. We're going to let one knee bend and let the other hip come up. And then we will slowly go back and forth. Think about keeping your glutes squeezed forward as we're going. A very small motion here, so don't try to get a lot of movement. five each way. And now we'll put both of those movements together into very small controlled hip circles. And we'll get five this way. We'll get one more. Pause. And then reverse. And as we're finishing up these reps, we can widen this out into nice big global hip circles. So pull the hips out and back. We can put our hands out for counter balance. Exhale through whatever feels tight, whatever feels sore. Ooh, what on that hip? We'll get one more in this direction. Pause in the back. And then we'll reverse. Last one here. Good. Now, we'll spread the feet a little bit. So go outside the shoulders. Soft knees. We're going to get what's called a spinal roll. Okay? So we're going to pull the hips away to the right. We're going to slide the left arm down the inside of the left leg. We're going to push the hips out and back to the right. We're going to flex our spine as much as we can as we come through the middle. As the right arm comes to the right leg, we'll slowly come up and begin to extend. Nice big exhale. Nice tight hips as you rotate back to the first side, coming back down the first leg. Again, exhale, do whatever feels tight, whatever feels like work. Get one more. We'll pause here and then reverse. Extend and rotate. Right arm down the inside, left hip going out and back. Good. We'll keep the 
feet a little bit wider. So we're outside the shoulders now. And we're going to do a, a half lateral lunge into the left leg here. Okay? Do a Tai Chi twist at home. Now, we're going to keep our hips fairly fixed and stable. We're going to take our torso and rotate it towards that bent leg. We're going to keep the body low and we're going to push back into the straight leg. We'll rotate to the bent knee and then push the body back. Rotate and push. Rotate and push it back. Rotate and push. Rotate and push. We'll get one more. Rotate and push. We're going to stay in this position here. We're going to anchor in this externally rotated hip. We're going to rotate away from that. Challenge yourself. Try to keep that knee away. Push forward now into the straight leg. Rotate to the straight leg. Push it forward. Rotate. Push it forward. Rotate, push it forward. Rotate, forward. Rotate, forward. Last one. Good. Now, we'll bring it back in. We're going to challenge you guys with some single leg work for the knees. So, we'll root down with the left leg first, and we're going to pull the right leg up to a point where we can be balanced. At full extension. If, you're can't, if you can't lock your leg out or you're off balance up here, we'll bring it down there. You'll still get plenty of good work for your hips and your knees. So we'll start with the foot hanging under the knee. We're going to pull the inside of the foot into the midline of the body. From there, we're going to extend, holding that rotation in the, in the leg, and then we're going to rotate so the heel is facing out, pull the knee back in. And we're going to work to get nice, smooth, egg-shaped circles here. In this direction, we'll get one more. Pause here, and then we're just going to reverse. When we're doing these single leg exercises, it's very helpful to find one immovable spot for you to focus on. And I'll help you make you help you keep your balance. Last one there. Good. We'll bring it down. Let's go. Root down to the right. We'll pull the left knee up. We'll do left foot in. And we'll continue our egg beaters on the opposite leg. That's three. Four. Last one. We'll pause. And then we'll reverse that direction. exercises, okay? Into the ankles here, okay? Make sure the leg is locked out. We're going to pull the toes up towards your face, and we're going to try to scoop the inside and the outside of the feet. So we're going to pull the inside up, and we're going to pull the outside up. Inside and the outside. Do your best. Try to just move your ankle. Try not to move your toes as you're doing these next couple drills. We'll get one more each way. In and out, and now we'll point and pull the toes up to your face again. Point back to the ground, pull them up as much as you can. And again, we'll get about five here, and then ankle circles here, we'll get three in each direction. Again, challenge yourself. Try not to move your toes, try just to move your ankle. Pause and then reverse. Take note if you can have an even speed around your circle or if you are speeding up and slowing down. Put it down, other way. Okay, we'll scoop in and scoop out. In and out. Circles. Again, 
challenging yourself, try to just move your ankle. Nice, even tempo. Pause and reverse. Good. And then put that foot down, guys. Last one. Putting it all together. Okay, a little fun one. Touch your rolls. We're going to go hands down on the knees. Okay, soft knees. The goal here is to try to keep as little of the bottom of your feet on the ground as you can. So, we're going to trace our toes, the edges of our feet, while making as big of a circle with our knees as we can. And again, we'll get five in this direction. And we'll reverse. Hands are on the knees just for balance. If, ooh, 